Thank you for staying tuned for the latest in the news. Now, electronic waste has been found to be detrimental to the environment. As Ghana continues to battle with this menace, a Ghanaian engineer has found use for them. Samuel Asari has been building solar generators using e-waste. Lava Firm's Kwesi Debra speaks with the founder of tech startup Nanotech. The current energy crisis has led to many proposing an energy mix for the country. Solar energy comes in handy as an affordable and environmentally safe alternative. Samir Asari decided to use e-waste. Uh, when your device gets damaged and you don't want to use it again, you just throw it away and there's no value for it. So a lot of people, usually there are um, precious metals in most of the electronic waste. So people go and then get that, gather the waste, they burn it for the, uh, for the metals that they need. But then the burning of the waste alone is something that is very harmful. The, the, the entire package comes with a solar panel and then the solar generator itself. So the panel is now is then mounted on the roof where, where it, can, it then charges the, the batteries in the system. So the, when the system is fully charged, it can run for over 14 hours during the day, running some of the basic things that a, a conventional house will need or maybe a small startup will need for their daily operations. And for running for 14 hours a day, I don't think that is too small for a business who runs for like eight hours or seven hours during the day. And then if you are in the house, both in the afternoon and in the night time, you have sufficient power to run your, your everything, everything. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is the 200 watt model. And it can power something like um, television, up to 24-inch television. It can power a standing fan, just like this one is running. It, can, it has radio in there, it has Bluetooth. And then you, the, the, when you, it can power the bulbs, the light in the house also. So the runtime of this particular one, if you are using just the bulb alone, can run for over 24 hours. The TV can run for over eight hours. The fan, fan can run for over six hours. So, like combining everything, the, combine, if you are combining everything, it can run for more than 10 hours on, on, the, on maybe the TV light and fans alone, alone. When you compare the price of our, of our solar generators to the conventional generators, I mean, the, the, the conventional generators are, are quite expensive. Some of them are very, way, way expensive and their power is very low. For instance, the it may be a thousand watt generator will be costing around two thousand, some are even five thousand. And then you have to buy fuel, and then there is noise at, 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 at the end of it, and then there's the pollution aspect. But then and the, our, our product, the solar generators that we are producing, we, we target them between the price of, let's say, two thousand cities for maybe a five hundred watt. You don't have to buy fuel, you don't have to do any maintenance after all, and then you get power for uh, the entire day. For a generator, maybe two or three hours backup you can get. But getting power from a generator for the entire day will, will cause you to spend so much within, particular, within a particular day, which adds up to the cost of the generator itself. So if you are running a generator for 24 hours a day, for maybe a year, the cost of that might buy about 10 of the solar generators. I mean, the major challenge is with the logistics and the equipment that we need to be able to do that. Currently, we do everything by hand. And just recently that we started to uh, DIY our own form of production um, processes and approaches to be able to do that. And that is well, how we are, we, are, we, are, we are starting now. But then to be able to get to the, 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 the level that we want, we need the machines and then the equipment. And then we, we need funding to be able to get to that point. Your name? My name is Samo Asari. You are the... I founder for Nasdaq Power Solutions. Reporting for Joy News, Kwesi Debra.